Yo, and, my people. <laughs> you trying to fuck with me? Go, go, go. It's good. And just like that, we're back. MTTE, More to the Ends podcast with myself, Big Cam. Ooh. And today, we got the team in the building. But before we get to the main part of the show, I just wanted to ask my people to like, comment, subscribe, and share. If you're liking any of the content so far, tell a friend to tell a friend. Shout out to the gang. Gang, gang. Boom. Mm. So obviously I was born in Jamaica. Come on. Um, lived there till I was 10. Come Our on. next door neighbour, um, Alex's dad. Yeah. His name's Gary. He had a... Shout out Gaza. <laughs> <laughs> he had a Kawasaki um, ninja. Mm. If you don't know what that is, it's a... Do a quick proper sports still. bike. Um, put it in the. And put the also the that, yeah. the bike thing in Jamaica is big, man. Like yeah. Bike, beach, women. Mm. It all kind of correlates with each other. Do you know what I mean? So I've always been fascinated with bikes. Every time we pull up, I used to just go outside the gate and just stare at the bike for hours on end. Mm. That's where my first <coughs> love of bike started. Does look cold, by the way. Still. Yeah. I pulled it up, so it does look cold still. I'm telling you, man. And it, it does have a weird, um, you know, shredder from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it reminds yeah, yeah. me of. Like obviously, the green and yeah, yeah, yeah. But so yeah, go. On. It's icon- oh, iconic bike, man. Mm. So that's where it all started. But obviously, when I came to England then got into football, mm-hmm. I couldn't have a bike for insurance purposes. Oh. Um, and when I stopped playing professionally and stuff, is that still a rule now? Nice. Nah, yeah, yes or no? To you be can't fair, you have a bike to play. It's, it's hard to get insurance because obviously because of your legs and stuff, isn't it? Oh, well, I think yeah, no, that's some mad, people obviously they pay the because of their own <coughs> silly money. Cristiano Ronaldo's legs because even what's the like name? I think what's the name? That like goalkeeper Chelsea had a crash on his bike. Could check or oh, Cudicini? Cudicini, Cudicini, yeah, yeah Cudicini. Right, Phillips ride bike. Um, a couple of footballers ride bikes, didn't they? Yeah, like Gordon Ramsay so, his tongue. Yeah, his man. palate is worth a, his tongue's worth like a million pounds on insurance. Probably more. Probably yeah. more. Gordon Ramsay. Yeah, because yeah, Ronaldo's what's Ronaldo's legs. No, because no, but if someone burns it or damages bro, his remember, tongue. remember, he's a chef. If someone face. burns his tongue. Yeah, bro, he's a chef. The he's palette. a Michelin star chef, bro. <clears throat> like, he's not like. It's bra- Again, Ronaldo, I keep reiterating, his legs were insured for like a billion pounds, bro. Yeah, I get that. That's his. Yeah, but, but that's chefs the same have the taste, isn't it? That's the same thing, yeah. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> um, but nah, yeah. Um, so that's where my love for bikes started. And when I was able to get a bike. Mm. Um, I got a bike, even though a lot of people's like, "Nah, what are you doing? It's a, it's a death trap." But I don't think people ever understand what it's like to ride a bike if you're not. If you haven't really. Nah, you have to literally, and even people that I bring to like watch bike races, and even I'm trying to tap into the whole bike racing because there's not a lot of black people in, in the whole <coughs> motorsport industry anyway. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like they literally fall in love with the whole bike even people have taught how to ride bikes mm, the culture of it yeah like even when you sat on my bike and yeah yeah like, it, it looks cool and, it does you know what I mean? automatically it does, it does. Yeah. It does. it's a cool thing it does. but obviously when things go wrong i pause like, though my... pause though because man sat on your bike but i was talking about the actual bike in it because that was kind of a bit mad didn't it the what <laughs> <laughs> no i'm playing man i'm just being dumb i'm being dumb, but, I'm no, being dumb. the accident i think i left left work that morning mm um yeah riding home mm. and i well i don't know if i should say this or for insurance but not, right. don't matter, don't be specific to location just be specific to how the accident itself happened happened yeah as i said don't be specific to the location but so anyway left work mm. riding home mm. um and obviously it was like early in the morning isn't it? Mm. streets open you have a bike what do you do? Nying. <coughs> Nying, Nying, Nying. Started doing a bit of a madness. I was wetting. Didn't see. Flying. Um, as far as I'm concerned, there was no one but me on the road. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> no this is my road. Tearing down the road. Mm. Um, then obviously got to, it's like a little cross, little section of the thing, in it? Of the mm-hmm. road. Then literally, um, Uber driver turned into my path, innit? Mm-hmm. So, literally I had about Two seconds to make a decision to if I go right, I'm literally going into a, a literally a brick wall. Oh. Or if I go uh, no, sorry, if I go left, I'm going to a brick wall. Mm. But if I go right, I'm hoping that 
the vehicle, by the time it turned, I kind of miss it and go around, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. But obviously, by the time I've braked, he's obviously panicked. He's literally stopped, and I've gone smack into the vehicle. I've gone flying down the road. The bike's broken three. Then, yeah. Um, literally, it's fly down the road. I tried to get up, but then I couldn't. Adrenaline. Mind. Yeah. I was literally in <coughs> yeah. so much pain. Instantly. But the pain. Like, yeah, as in like, as soon as you had the collision, yeah. Yeah, I had the collision. that went flying down the road. Then mm. once I came to a stop, I literally rolled over. Because mm. um, I was on my hands and my stomach. Just yeah, I remember your hands yeah. were like fingers. So I literally got up, sat down. Then I tried to push myself up. Then literally the pain just hit me when I couldn't move. Mm. Then I fly. I felt something warm run down my side, didn't it? Then I put my hand at the right hand side of my stomach and there was my blood. Just blood everywhere, man. Mm. Then there was, uh, I think, off duty police officer. I was driving past, he stopped. Then he's like, nah, relax, relax, relax. Then this is probably like five, ten minutes later, the ambulance turned up. Mm. Then, yeah, back in ambulance, off I went to the hospital, man. So. I don't know if you got any thoughts, George. How long were you in the hospital for? Probably a couple hours. A couple hours. What, did you left? Well, they said they had no bed. So I literally... <laughs> what? Uh, so I, this I, is I, the streets! <laughs> so I, the I, street? I was uh, in the ambulance, and obviously they're giving me morphine and stuff because I was in pain, innit? Mm. And the morphine's making me high, but this time I'm thinking, like, I'm dying. <laughs> So oh. I'm all panicking and thinking, oh shit, like. Was it get out of here? And I'm, oh. think, I'm hearing my mum in my head, like, I told you not to get the bike. And was you hallucinating? Probably, I'd say I was, yeah. Because oh. obviously I'm on these drugs and it's making me. No, but obviously, for the people that don't know, obviously we spoke briefly about like fitness and stuff. You're a fitness guy, you drink, you don't smoke, no, no, don't you don't smoke, smoke loud. I don't, I don't you, drink like alcohol. And you don't I drink don't like alcohol. excessively, so. Yeah you're not really used to any drugs really and you, i know you're mm-hmm. like you're like me but times 10 with the holistic vibes where as long as you can do things holistically you will yeah, you yeah. don't really do no. pills and stuff so no, no, no. just quickly talk about the morphine and like how how do you think yeah, it looked like mum's right. waist like but did tell this why you know <sighs> that's all like repeating <laughs> myself and do you know when they say like your life flash in front of you yeah, yeah. did that really happen for I real for i swear real? to god i swear before i like hit the the car like, because obviously I'm trying to compute all these things. Like, do I go left? Do I go right? Then I can see my kids and I'm... Bruv, it's, mm. it's, it's, it's crazy, man. And obviously in the back of the ambulance, like, the guy is all cutting up my clothes and I'm just lying there. Then I can hear the police guys speaking to mum and mum's all crying on the phone. Yeah. Because I can't lie. Obviously, I had... I was on I was on a course for a week, yeah. And was it during a course? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I was on... I think I was on... I think I just got there and then I went to sleep and woken up and then I got a call like early morning, like seven thirty or some shit. And it was Jordan, and obviously Jordan's our little brother. You might have seen him on the pod, Jordan and that, um, Kulabali and that, um, Kulabali, Stormzy yeah. and that, <laughs> all all the rest. Got a lot of names. Yeah, all the rest. <laughs> but he was crying or he was in what tears. He was in tears at least, uh, in it. <clears throat> and obviously. You know how men are anyway. <laughs> when someone's in tears, that means that something's wrong automatically. So when I got the call... Yeah, to be fair, I don't really cry. I don't really cry. We don't really... So. George, you, no, I've cried know. in front of you before, mm. but it's not something I do, and I can't even remember the last time. I haven't years. Right. So when he called me, and he goes, Rick's had a crash, everything else, like, of words and vocabulary got deleted. All I was thinking is, is it fatal... Or is he still alive? That was just mm. the two options yeah, of. I think that's what you automatically think, innit? Didn't like, think even of when mum got the call from the police officer. Nothing else. I bro. think the, the police officer said, um, "He's like, oh, good morning, Miss Miss Heard. Uh, we have your son, um, but she you and he just arrested. had a bike. And then obviously I could hear mum like she screamed out, innit? Mm. And in my head I'm thinking, oh, like, why did you get this bike? <clears throat> what are you doing, man? Pause it though." Again, context is very important because a lot of people won't understand this. George, you might remember I've told you this. Obviously, our cousin, like... Yeah, so and obviously... And even other cousin, family members. Yeah, his dad obviously passed away because obviously a bike... Accident. Rest accident in peace to him and rest in peace to so, um, Uncle Collins. So there was obviously lots well. of people that was against that. the idea of me getting a bike and so forth. But I think if you love... No matter what people say to you, if you love something, you're always going to do what yeah, you anyway. think is... Of course. Do you know what I mean? To suit your own 
You gotta that's live. Exactly. Of course, you have to. You have, you have to, to live. live. Yeah, yeah, you have to live, man. But, that's but what I, I always try to do. I mentioned that because so. that would probably have been a shock thing for mum as well. Because yeah, mum and auntie course. are like, yeah, they're against they're it. Like they're this. against it. Yeah, they hate so, bikes. And obviously, mum's best friend. Um, Colin that's what I'm saying son, died from riding the bike that's what I'm saying so it's not just one or two nah, like it's nah. a thing that's happened in our yeah, family before yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah so obviously okay so you had a collision you've gone into hospital various calls have been made whatnot. I've got the news of it I was fucking shattered but I was just like alright cool as long as it's not fatal my brother's still here we got the genetics in it like <laughs> beast gene and that um, Come on. but then you recover yeah. And I remember... Sorry, you sound like peace walking, did it? Huh? No, 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 no. <laughs> the way you No, you know what the funny, yeah. crazy thing about it is, yeah? After the crash, yeah? So when I went to the hospital, they literally stitched up... I had a big hole in my in the side, didn't it? Mm. They literally stitched me up and said, oh, we've got no bed, so you got to get out. And I couldn't... But listen, I couldn't walk anyway. God, so I had crutches and missus was with me. Mm. Then, obviously, went home, stayed at mum's. Mm. Yeah, because the stairs or wherever it is, isn't it? Um, then you know, mum will look after you properly. Yeah, yeah of course. Well. Then obviously I couldn't get out of bed. So my, sometimes Malika had told me out of bed and mm. all these things. But all I was thinking about is my bike. I swear to God. Nah, because you know when, when, I, when I had a crash, the police said it broke in three pieces, isn't it? Yeah. But I was like, bro, he's just exaggerating, isn't it? Yeah, so nah, I'm lying in bed thinking, nah, he's just probably making it up. Have so. you got any pictures of that? Because if anything, yeah, you I, can yeah, throw up yeah. when, when the So then when he um, told me, I was like, bro, this cop's just exaggerating. Like, I just need to go get my bike from, it was in Charlton Pound, didn't it? Mm. So then when I, about three or four days later after the crash, I went to Charlton Pound to get it. Mm. Then I saw the bike and I was like, oh, bro, I was so heartbroken. Class. I was so. I think I was more heartbroken of the fact that they on my back than I was. Yeah, you was. Mm. Like, you definitely was were. Because I remember you was complete. hobbling, and man's telling about the back. I'm like, fam. <laughs> why the fuck do you why care about you this bike? Why you give back, bro? You're hobbling, and this is a man that jogs in 40 degree weather. So I'm bro. not used to seeing Rick yeah. injured. It's not a thing that happens. Like yeah. That. So that was that was a heartbreak. I seen the back in the. And then what? You still decided even after that. You said, "Fuck yeah. all that. I'm still gonna ride." Yeah. <laughs> so literally, I had the crash in I think Ju- July. Mm. Then August, I went and bought a new bike and an even more bigger and powerful bike. Mm. So yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, I thought, I'm gonna go there. Like, High well, voltage. I was like, do it properly, yeah, not crash properly, but like no, God forbid. Yeah, that's yeah. weird. Now look. Um, I thought it was imp- it was important for you to tell that story because, as I said, I know it. Georgia knows parts of it, and I think sometimes people don't understand like when someone has a passion for stuff, and even though yeah. like your passion might put you in like you know a dangerous situation, <laughs> even as I said, even music. I'm not a rapper, but I know that there's rappers that do rap. They oh, ser- they talk certain things and they invite certain energies, but they kind of have to do it because that's what they love and that's their only way to vent. Yeah. But you still said, fuck it, I'm still just, I'm out here, bro. Do you know what it is? <laughs> nah, do you know what it is, yeah? Like, I think I ask you, yourself and a few other people this question, like, whenever are you at your, when, when are you at your happiest? It's a very difficult question, And it's, I, th- I think people don't very difficult. find it hard to, like, answer that question, yeah? But you see me, when I'm riding a bike, like... Heaven. I can't, I can't even explain the, the feeling I get. <clears throat> What's like, this? Not is, ma- is it better than beating? Is it better than beating? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's two different highs, isn't it? <laughs> it's, two different, it's two different highs, but Woo! I tell you what, yeah, it's it's not it's far. Close. It's not I far. Think the, the only way you can like <laughs> understand it is if you ride a bike. Yeah, I, like, I even think if you, even if you learn and you ride yeah. at, like thirty miles per hour, like boom down the road and back. Yeah, like it gives you like a freedom and a buzz that like nothing compares to it. Yeah, and yeah. even if you tap into like the racing world, I, I swear to you. Yeah, like. There's nothing crazier, like, like more, give you a buzz, like, you imagine you're flying down the road at, like, 200 miles per hour, then you have to, like, slow it down to, like, tip in, and obviously there's about six, I don't know, maybe 10, 12, sometimes 20 guys. It's the art. The art, like, the art of the technique that you actually do have to ride when you ride at them levels, yeah. I enjoyed riding a, well, it wasn't a bike, but 
the moped in the moped port, thing. Port, yeah, port, yeah, that was that, that was quite nice. And it's it's it chill and it's and like you're, it's driver. like you're free. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. imagine like you're on this big, powerful thousand six hundred cc whatever you're riding in. Yeah, like. I'm doing burnouts and mm. pop a wheelie here and there. Can you pop wheelies and that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And obviously, uh, girls are getting. Oh, sorry. <laughs> girls, I don't, I don't do it for this purpose, but. <laughs> I, don't, I don't do it for this purpose. So. Oh, no, nah, yeah. you're funny, Rick, man. I I've you. actually never been on Ricky Bat, you know. I want to nah, try one. Sh- I, I would. I think. I think in terms like of. It, in terms I of things for the future. I like it. I can teach a, you to ride it. Yeah, there's a lot of things. There's a lot of. Like, because you said to me, Ra. Uh, I don't know if it was my birthday or the day after. He was like, "Raw, like, what are you on tomorrow? Like, you can go and do the bike show and do the yeah, man. These, I don't look good tomorrow. yeah, these Come things, on, man's definitely gonna go and experience because, as you said, it's only because you ain't experienced it. Like um, no. Comic Con. Now, obviously, me and George are into anime, as you may or may not know. I got a Pokemon tattoo. Mrs. got a Pokemon tattoo as well. Blah 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 blah. But some people find anime or animations sneaky or mm. for kids and shit. But you see Comic Con, just that vibe and people dressing yeah, just up, free, like, and like people are dressing up as characters that you've played, like since you were like ten, that you've watched, and you've watched, and they they look like that character. Mm-hmm. There's again, it goes back to like the art of it, of like channeling it. There's something like quite you unique it about well. it. You see, like sometimes perception is, it's a great thing because even in my younger days, mm. yeah, I used to look at like theatre and think, bro. Oh, bro. This is bullshit. This is bro. Like people and bro. I love my theater. Like, you see, George? I went to the theatre one day. I've got, I think I've watched a play called The Season of the Congo. Mm. It had like, you know that guy that done um, 12, 12, years 12 years Years of Slave? Slave? He was like the lead guy in it, yeah. Mm. And I swear to you. Killed it. One of the best things I've ever seen. Like, and I think theatre. I love theatre. Bro. Next He's time I have a theatre show, I'll, I'll tell you guys. 100% go Two again, things. Man. One, George has performed, she performed... Um, Spring Awakening. How many months ago? Was that two, three months ago? April. Um, Some nutty play. If Go and look up Spring Awakening if you don't know what that is. Go and look yeah. it up. It's fucking sick. Like, especially what George was doing, but... Again, no, because of course, no, hear me out, no, hear me out, no, no, forget that. Because again, they're dancing, get them brownie points. no, 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 watch it, watch it. They're dancing, they're acting, and they're singing, and they're using props, and they have to do this throughout the, the whole thing. Changes. And outfit you know changes, that bro. This what, but this the other day, I got this is what I'm saying, guitar, yeah? this is what I'm saying. I tried to like do a little thing and sing it, it's so hard, bruv. It's so hard. Bruv. I'm confused. I'm thinking, what the hell? Yeah. Like, but this, I always, I've always um, maintained this, and I'll let you go in a sec, George. I always maintain that whether it be whatever sport it is or theatre or some sort of art, even if I don't love it, I have to appreciate yeah, the yeah, levels yeah. because you there's an to. intricacy right. that you don't understand because no. you ain't even tried that's it the thing yet. With, that's the beauty with a lot of things. Like some things on the outside look so easy until mm. you're putting the... Cause even like Formula One car, I remember I done a Formula One car for my birthday. Yeah. And obviously, guy, I was like, "Bro, this is driving the car. How <laughs> it can't be that hard?" I can you know imagine what I mean? Ricky bro, like that. Thinking, bro, this I'm guy gonna, thinks that about everything, bro. I'm gonna smash this. This is easy. So obviously, I get there now, and the guy's like, "Right, we're gonna put the car in. They put the car in like third gear because the clutch is so it's ridiculous." And then they get a little quad mm. and then push it. And obviously, you release the clutch, then gas down, then. Then it jumps in and it kicks in, then you're flying around the crowd. It's the hardest thing I've ever done. Yeah, that that even the way that you explain that. And this is like, like a, a <laughs> like a Formula One car from in the nineties. Do you know what I mean? I'm thinking not even these day, joints. Modern day car where they got all the controls. Oh, and yeah. Yeah. I, I watched a thing with Lewis Hamilton the other day, and he's explaining about all these things that he has to compute in his head. And obviously he's driving the car, but there's bare things and that goes. Well. Bro, ain't their thing <clears> on? Um, I'm sure they said that certain. I might be wrong. I don't follow Formula One, but I'm sure they said that certain one of these carts and that have like NASA technology and all of these things, bro. It's not like you know, like me and my little my little car and that. I'm thinking, yeah, I've got something like no, bro. Like these yeah. people have some next level tech in their thing yeah, that they, they have to consider. People that um that race motorbikes, mm. they say that the skill you need is equivalent to you know them fire jet. Oh, oh shit! Yeah, they said it's Okay. I'm the same. So you trying to fly? Like, trying to fly birds? Yeah. I'm trying to fly birds, bro? Get me um if they want to fight a fight for Ukraine. Right, you're moving <laughs> brave. Further, but my might have to cut that out. That's all crazy. <laughs> <laughs> all right, look. Um, all right, cool. But um, we've got 
half an hour to go, yeah. Hopefully people are loving the shot. See, this is what happens. We'll be talking, talking, talking. And they're like, what? An hour's gone already. It's crazy. Yeah. Before we go, there's a few things I do want to touch on in terms of the news this week, but I want to touch on you um, and your story. I always talk on this podcast about you know how... what's mad? Sorry oh, go on. You. Go, like, go on. You know, it feels like, like we're brothers, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> like, it feels like I'm into being interviewed by... I don't know, he's a top, he's a top interview guy. Person. Piers Morgan, that's what Piers I said. Morgan. Oh, I don't he's know, giving but, me Piers yeah. Morgan vibes. I didn't say it. My missus said it and he said it, my brother, so I don't know. It was the way you were... I can't remember what exactly you said and I was like, this is kind of... Um, you know, he like, does them true stories. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah. I see Muhammad Ali done a few of them sit down and they ask some very yeah. questions. Wait, and... You say Muhammad Ali, the guy that you was born on the same day as? Wow. Anyway, um, look. <laughs> Great people. <laughs> really? Re- that was a reach. <laughs> <laughs> Muhammad Ali. That's it. I'll take it. You don't look too far off there. Cassius Clay. I'm gonna Google him. I don't think he looks that far. Ali. Do you know what? Yeah, I've been Slow, had. Like I've had Anthony Yardy. Definitely. I've had Romeo from the Solid Crew. Definitely. I've Nelly. Nelly. Yeah, those someone are my told, two. Someone told me Bob Marley the other day. Nah, they no, was they no, was no, fucking no. with you. They, they were white, fucking. innit? Michael, Michael Jackson. Jackson. Michael Jackson. <laughs> 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 maybe, 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 <laughs> maybe, 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 they was fucking with you. They yeah. was fucking with you. No, um, look, I, what I want to do, and I appreciate... Muhammad Ali is way more similar than Michael Jackson, bro. Yeah, <laughs> at, at, at a push. <laughs> at a big push. Man said MJ, you know, that's all I crazy. I said, what, when he was white or black? These times, MJ, I know, MJ looks Which like the one? table and that. I said both. <laughs> do not both. Um, right, I, I just want people to have, like, a background. <clears throat> Obviously, as you said, you came to the UK when you was 10, yeah, he was born here. I do have to ask you this, yeah, and I was, I'll go back to what I was going to say about how I always talk about how my big brother didn't do road, and I guess that's why I didn't do road, because I was thinking about that today. What if you did do road? What would I be doing? Um, do you remember when you came, when you was 10, and yeah, yeah. I would have been... You're three. Saying, three? Three. But I don't remember... Mm. When I, I think when I came, you went to Jamaica. For yeah, like, I was going to say, three. I don't remember proper, proper, yeah. like, <clears throat> us settling until I was four... And a half? Yeah, but it even the whole period was mad because obviously you went to Jamaica when I came. Mm. And then when you came back, I had to take time out of school to look after you because mum couldn't find a childminder. Is it? Yeah. I didn't even know I that. think I was out of school for Oh, like, God, I didn't even know that. Like three, four Sound months. about all the siblings, well, obviously mum, I us. think mum told the school that something was wrong with me. Ah. Oh. So then when I went to back to school, mm. everyone was asking me, oh, are you okay? And then obviously I had to like, that's it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> right. and obviously carry on I didn't know that. That was. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know that. That's bad. I need to ask Bob about that still. Obviously, remember that time um, when you pretend to be dead and that? What? <laughs> you don't remember? <laughs> no. Bro, you're what the fuck? <laughs> what? I swear to God. Imagine I pretended so to die. Nah, so obviously, uh, break it down because I don't remember this. Oh God. Obviously, mum had to go to work, innit? Yeah. She had no charmander, so obviously I had to stay in the house with Cameron. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Um, How did I pretend I to I, that? I, I even went to. <laughs> You're jarring. I think there was that. Remember, do you remember Blues Clues? Blues yeah. Clues, yeah. Blues Clues, Nick Tunes, Nick Jr. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. Blues Clues was on. I think was that six two two or something? something isn't it? Yeah. Then when I came back, um, mm. obviously Cameron was just on the floor and that. <laughs> I'm not surprised that he done this. Yeah, he's a donut. Yeah. So obviously, I'm like, <laughs> I am the greatest of all like, time. Imagine I'm like, pretending to, to die. I can't feel like, yeah, I can't feel no breath. Or I'm like, the coldest. Nothing coming I'm out. the coldest. Yeah. I someone so obviously, I've, 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 I've panicked. I'm only like what 10, 11? Yeah. yeah, I've panicked and I've obviously rang Auntie Lynn because <laughs> I think Mum couldn't. I didn't couldn't get to Mum's phone or wherever it, where, where she working. Mm-hmm. So obviously, Auntie Lynn was the next point of contact. You can't ring Mum between nine and three. She yeah, won't so pick I'm up. obviously rang Auntie Lynn. Like, oh, Cameron's dead, and she's like, what? <laughs> so obviously she's rang the ambulance and she's driving there hoping to get there before the police and that gets there innit so obviously yeah. the police gets there what but before Fuck the police gets there this guy jumps up like haha I'm only playing innit <laughs> So I'm, uh, obviously, it's like, I'm the greatest of all time. I'm the greatest so of all time. So you waited for them to call the police, ambulance, yep. everything. Like, I don't remember none of this. Like I'm on the phone and you pretending to, and they ask me, oh, is he responding? I'm like, no. Da, 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 da. Oh my Did you have an accent? Huh? Did you have an accent? 
accommodate yeah, accommodate mm. the vaccine at the time. Yeah. Then, no, he's not responding. Obviously, they asked me, where's your mum? And I, uh, I couldn't say my mum's going to work because she's not supposed to leave us in the house. Yeah. Then I'm like, oh, she's just gone to the shop. <laughs> the time she coming back, so she was going to the shop. I don't know how long it's gonna be. Then I am a go. By the time he's jumped up and stayed, obviously the police the ambulance has turned up. <laughs> oh my gosh! Lynn has... How often do you think about that story? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> that is not often, but often that enough is... to think Cause, that. Because sometimes I think <laughs> about it's a messed up story. No, but yeah. obviously this is not even close. But sometimes I think about when I shaved Malachi's head. <laughs> Do you remember when, like, yeah, I shaved? What about like, when you there. left Malachi in the pot? No, that was Jordan. Oh. But listen, um, <laughs> <laughs> but listen. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that was, that was no, sorry. Um, no, you left Jordan in the pot. That's what I said. That was Jordan yeah. I left in the pot. Um, I, to- I went home, played PlayStation, come back. I was like, what part did you leave him in? Oh, cool. Oh, cool. And I was there for. How like, old was he then? He could have walked. Nah, he oh, was. Like, he was like. He was like. F- five maybe six and I, I the thing is I went back I played PlayStation Ooh, I fuck knows where you <laughs> were bro all I know is that me and Matthew was banging P what, say P4 yeah, PlayStation yeah banging it hard and then I was like oh my god Jordan he's like what I was like brother I left him in La Cool <laughs> he's, he's like wait oh shit you did bruv fastest run I've ever done in my life was he still there? Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro, when I went back, he was chilling with some white people and that, just baking off, like, looked at me like, raw, like, I didn't even know you left. Like, I calm. I had a situation like that, though. Like, with calm. my next-door neighbour. So I used to pick up my next-door neighbour's daughter. Actually, I was... Sorry, I'm sorry. Sorry. To be fair, there's another story with this clown. He's like, oh, God, I don't want to <laughs> hear it. Man. I didn't tell going. my story. So, oh, when fuck. I first came to this country, <laughs> we all decided to go south in. Yeah. Like, obviously, nice little vacation to the seaside and that. Uh, with me, auntie, dad, uh, Colin, mm. obviously Cameron. Yeah. Jumped in the whip. I'm finishing. So probably, like, eight, eight of us in dad's car anyway, just driving to South End, <laughs> get to South End. How did eight of us fit in dad's car? Eight Back then was a different time. Exactly. <laughs> it really was, obviously, you know. Obviously, A to Z trying to get to South End. Yeah, oh, oh my Stopped and like, asked the policeman how to get to South End. With, With bare people, people in the, the car. car. <laughs> <laughs> obviously, I think, like I said, back then, different shit time. just... It was whatever. Yeah, people smoked in clubs and... Yeah, yeah, for real, for real, though. Anything happened back then. For real. There's a bit more freedom, anyway, to do certain things. Obviously, get to South End, eating sandwich on the beach, everyone's having a good time. Mm-hmm. Looked around. Cameron's missing, isn't it? So obviously, mum's crying. Oh my Dad's god! Like I running around, How old is <clears throat> Six, seven? Uh, probably. It's gotta be seven. Nah, if I think less than that, man. This was like when I first came to the country, so you like maybe three four. or four. Four. Yeah. Ooh. If someone yeah. kidnapped you I as a child, I think they'll the give you back. Imagine? So obviously, we're walking. I said they'll give you back. <laughs> Everyone's oh, scattered. Dumb. Auntie's gone That's that way. Colin's one. gone that way. Mum's all bawling. <laughs> Dad's like running around. <laughs> Doing a madness. Have um, you seen my son? <laughs> I'm just there like trying to eat my sandwich, you know what I mean? So <laughs> this is thing care. Then obviously we've kind of regrouped and thought, alright, cool, let's like walk <coughs> up to like the main where all the arcade is, isn't it? Mm. Then literally some you was literally on top of a policeman said like just bopping down the <laughs> policeman coming down. I was like, oh shit, like that's Cameron. So So what was I doing? I don't know. And he, I bet he, he was he, smiling. He, he, just, he just wandered off. He just wandered off. See, just wandered off, so. If our kids are like that, he's wandered off. Oh, I could not do it. Look, I'm not saying Aiden's like me, but you, if you replace me with Aiden in that story, you could kind of see that happen. To be honest. Well, AJ. But I think it's no, just Aiden. Aiden, it, Aiden, it's, Aiden. It's just kids. If you Both Aiden. If, Aiden's if, if, if you don't pay attention, like they just wander off, and do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, but the thing is, I feel like, and you might be able to correct me if I'm wrong. I feel like as a kid, I was always outgoing. Like I don't remember not being yeah. outgoing. Like, I was always like. You know me anyway. I, I don't mind talking to people, bro. But yeah. inherently, I'm actually like quite introverted. Yeah, but I will still have a conversation with people. I guess I was still like that when I was a kid. Mm-hmm. Like I'll just walk up and just be like, oh, oh, I probably went to the police officer and said, "Okay." And then probably, just maybe, like, maybe that's why he probably saw the arcade yeah. and decided to like this. Arcade. <laughs> <just R-Kid. R-Kid. laughs> no, one time I used to take Sonny's kid. I used to pick up Jada mm. from school, and I was I was like a seven, yeah from primary school and one time I was with my friend Rashawn picked her up and um, my so you know where I live Vauxhall Street it's literally yeah. down the road yeah mm-hmm. so went to pick her up got her now I'm walking with Rashawn just chatting blah 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 then I look and I'm like 
Where's Jada? Where's Jada? Yeah. So the Jada. No. Oh. So my neighbor's daughter. Yeah. I'm like, where's Jada? Where's Jada? She's gone. I'm like, and this is not even my child. I'm not even related to this person. I'm thinking that they trusted me no, to pick them up. You. Just lost the lost you, yeah? like a twenty pound note. Didn't even have a phone. <laughs> Didn't have a oh, phone. Oh yeah. Yeah. So I had to call the Jade's house phone. I was like, Jade, like, I've lost Jada. Jade's like, you're gonna have to tell Sonia. Yeah, my neighbour. She looks sorry to cut you. See, yeah. like that quick first question was about something that was normal in the nineties. Writing letters. <laughs> Sorry, do you know? Nah, do you know why? No, do you know why? I remember remember writing dad a letter, but we get onto that anyway. (laughs) Okay, I've nearly finished. Yeah, I've nearly finished. So then, yeah, I knock on Sonia's door. So I'm number seven, I knock to number eight, and Jada answers the door. She literally just ran. Random house? No, at her house. Her yard. She just went back yard. She just ran to her house. Man, that's clever though. And I was like, Jada. I thought I lost you, and the song you came was like, Jada, but I, I think, that, I think, I think that's clever because that happened to me and Cameron. See, like, mum took us to, I think we went East Street mm-hmm. yeah. in the first come to this country. So, obviously, we've been. You guys lived in Canberra? Yeah. For start, but then obviously. We moved back, back moved, to yeah. me. One yeah. 0. So, when mum took us to East Street, mm. we've obviously been to Brixton and obviously P5 from mm-hmm. go to East Street, had it? So, I think mum said. Uh, stay on the corner here. She's just gonna pop into this shop. This ring is about um, still. She'll be back in the bed, isn't it? Mm-hmm. But it literally, I think five minutes felt like two hours. <laughs> yeah. It always is. Yeah, I, I panicked <clears throat> and thought, oh, my mum's left, left the center. <laughs> I, I swear, to, I swear to God, I've literally Listen, panicked. And she's done a runner cam. She's done a runner cam. <laughs> literally thought that she just left to say because obviously at the time like this was happening, people just leave kids and uh, yeah. So I thought, oh fuck, she don't want us no more. She's left us in it. <laughs> so in my mind, obviously I've These been... times mum's gone to get over team. <laughs> For real. Probably on bundle or something. Or or... Crisp. So in my head oh I'm my thinking, God. what do I do? Like she's left us, she ain't coming back. Yeah. Once I go home, innit? So obviously I pushed him in the buggy, jumped in the P five and that old bear crying and the bus driver. Oh, like, What's the matter with you? Well, mum's on the run over. <laughs> I'm going home to see if she's there. Got home, mum ain't there. Your mum must have come back and so said, yeah, what, where what, what are did, my kids? What did mum do then after that whole fiasco then? Because obviously when you've she, gone I home. Think when she came back, she came back with the police and that, innit? She must have been. And obviously you. she's bare balling and, and all these things. And obviously I'm there with Cameron in the buggy. Like, oh, where was he? <laughs> I was like, oh, you left us. He's like, no, I just went to the shop. I'll be five minutes. I was like, well. You used like five days. It's like. <laughs> but oh. I, I, don't, I think she was obviously, she went not vex. But she thought, oh, well, clever of you to, like, come, come back. back to the house. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because you've only been in the country, like, for, like, a month or two or whatever it is. So. Yeah. Brav. Look, yeah. Um, to be honest, we've gone down memory lane. And I feel like if you listened long enough and you watched long enough, you've probably figured out, like, how a man grew up. Like, we didn't. <laughs> I always, I, I don't, <clears throat> I'm not a guy to profess about how I didn't grow up with a silver spoon in that but it's obvious we didn't, but we didn't. like but mum was of the yeah, we had, man. yeah mum did her thing dad yeah, did his man. thing as well as much as they could with what the tools that they had didn't it before we go again as Should I said I, but I need to hear about the letter, the letter oh yeah well you can talk about that about the letter yeah talk yeah. about the letter oh. and then I'll go on well, with, with a couple of news bits said, that's happened this week so when I first came to this country obviously mum had Married to obviously Elot's dad, and it, yeah. And obviously, his name is Junior, yeah. So when I came, mum was like, Oh, well, you can call him Junior, but I thought, Nah, that's disrespectful. I can't call man Junior, innit? it's so kind of weird, man. Let's be honest. I decided to call him <coughs> Uncle Junior, innit? that's weird. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> that's also weird. It's yeah, okay. I know, but obviously, because I didn't have a you trying to figure it out, like that. So obviously, I thought, Call me, call him Juniors. I'm a little youth. How old were you when mum and their dad married? Um, so how was I when mum left? I think I was probably like maybe like five when mum left okay. Jamaica, or maybe maybe four or five. Anyway, um, I know that's an emotional. Pressure. I was gonna say I was gonna. Yeah, that we'll, was there, there, There'll be a part two. You, there'll yeah. be a part two. Don't worry. Like, we'll get into that. Yeah. Anyway. So obviously I called him Uncle Junior. Decided to call him Uncle Junior anyway. That's weird. That's then as the <laughs> months progressed, and I thought, nah, like he's cool. Man's actually cool, and da 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 da. I thought. I want to call him like dad, isn't it? Because I didn't mm. have a relationship with my real dad. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So I thought, oh, nah, that is cool. Da, 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 da. I want to call him dad, but how do I say it? So I decided mm. to write him this long ass 
And they said, Dear yeah, Uncle Junior, like since I've came to England, you've did a did a do and proper like emotional. Before you finish, <laughs> before before you wait, before you finish before you finish, out, before you finish, I'm gonna go out and have a pot shot saying that dad didn't critique nothing but your handwriting. Go on. I probably did, man, right? Shit. Yeah. Shit, no, because I, no, but dad like wouldn't focus on nothing but nah, he would, yeah. why you never put punctuation? An exclamation exactly mark. Something you probably say. You probably, probably, probably did. I wouldn't be surprised. But yeah, I wrote him. <laughs> I actually love beautiful. I pour my heart out to him. Letter. So I always do. Basically, an adoption letter. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, yeah, literally, yeah, literally, that's what it was. So. Yeah, yeah. Then gave it to him, and he's like, "All right, cool." <laughs> that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Go, go, Bruv, go get me a can of Foster. Like, <laughs> on God, yeah. <laughs> on God, yeah. I don't know, yeah, what it is with Dad, yeah, but like. I feel like we all like have it a little bit where we're we're impressed by stuff, but we can never be like, yo, nah, you know that's what? that you Madison know what? Madness. Dad rating, yeah. You see Dad, yeah, I think He's never impressed by anything, bro. Nah, but I think you see his personality, yeah, and I think I've adopted it, he's like probably the most chilled person. Mm. Like nothing bothers this guy. Like he'd be like, Dad, the house is burning. Okay, cool. He's like, all you need is a little nitrous <laughs> oxygen. And what I'm going to do... Is the most... Sure, I remember, I think... I don't know, something happened anyway. Then he must have... He called me in the room. And he's like, listen, like, no word is worth a blow. Bruv. You see? So uh, like, what's this guy you, what, you see what, like, what like, Rick just said, yeah? Coming out with these analogies mm. and you're thinking like... It makes you think like... No, it's deeper because remember I, I said that dad was the f- one person I remember I was eight. He said to me, think before you speak. And I was like, bro, I've got a lot to say, fam. He's like, nah, but like, I understand that you're clearly clever. You're aware of certain stuff, but you need to pick your moments when you want to say certain things. Yeah, not every mm-hmm. time is the right time. And it stuck with me to this day. Oh, and now I've got a podcast. Super, super. <laughs> I feel like our dads are, are quite similar. Probably one of the 100%. smartest person I've met. Dad, I swear to God. Boy. One of the smartest person that you'll ever come across. <coughs> if you meet him and speak to him on a Brav. on a level, man. Brav. As, anyway, that's again, that's for another day. Yeah. Before we go though, a couple of few um stories that I wanted to go through. There's a, quite a few. I think we've got about twenty on the clock or whatever. But what um left? Yeah, bro, we've been going for an hour and twenty, you know. Bro, this guy <laughs> Look. I'm not saying you can't come back next week because to be fair, my cousins is yeah, our cousins. My agent. You must speak to your agent. I am the I am your agent. My agent. Look, um, our cousins want a fee for me to be here tonight. So this guy, bro, yeah. I ain't pay you shit. I paid you a half bottle of Remy. Um, <laughs> our cousins. Boy, we, we, we don't we won't say too much in it. But Is it um, yes, pretty much. Yeah. But uh, if you want some of this, you can. Do you want something? Yeah, you ain't got much though. This guy's no, a drinking bear, bro. Who? Him. Um, this is like his fourth one. He should be no, drinking, isn't it? I ain't got a kid in the way. There you go. I ain't got a kid in the way. Um, yeah, all right, cool. So, a couple of news stories like before we go. Anything. Huh? Drinking and having a kid in the way. Because if you had a kid in the way, why would you drink? No, well, you, you can still drink. No, I'm, I'm... As in, if he's a wolf, she's a woman. I'm saying it jokingly that... Like, I'm I'm yeah, I'm saying it jokingly Never, that ever. Not even a sip? No. Never? Yeah. So you're cutting out? Mm-hmm. Of course. No. no. Okay, that's good. What the hell? No, I'm saying you can have a little drink. Like, why? No, wine man. Nah. Pour wine. Wine. I want to drink. Oh, I smell like wine. Wine, bruv. You can have a sip of a glock. Nah. Come on, man. Let's be real, man. Come on, man. <clears throat> I want to drink. Bro. Cameron, when get I get real, pregnant, man. this guy, real, I know man. him already. He's going to make me smoothies. Get real, and he's going to text smoothies. He's going to text me and say, oh, you need your 12 o'clock, o'clock smoothie. I need your five Mine with ginger. Does yours taste different to mine? What do you mean? What, it tastes nice? And yours tastes shit? <laughs> it's the same drink, you know. It's the Are exact sure? same drink. <laughs> Rewind the tape and you'll see it's the exact same yeah. drink. I haven't changed nothing. Cam's going to be on my case, man. This guy. Man's, right. man's, <laughs> man's <laughs> better drink. Um, cool. So, first news story of this week that I wanted to touch on, yeah. Um, actually, I'll touch on this still. Did you see that, obviously, you're born in JA. I'm of Jamaican her- heritage and obviously you got... Jamaican in you, pardon the pun. Um, (laughs) 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 What's that emoji face? uh, What? The sexual emoji face. No, I'm I'm not saying that. I'm just saying Georgia Georgia actually has Jamaican in her. I know, but you said... Not currently, but... Yeah, yeah. that's my favourite emoji, by the way, so... (laughs) 
<laughs> I said eggplant. Um, no, look, I really use that as or much. In the um, devil. Yeah. Little, little devil. Yeah. Look, yeah. in the women's 100 metres finals of, I don't know if it was just athletics, it definitely wasn't Olympics and stuff, but whatever it was, championships, Jamaica took all three podiums. Yeah, yeah. Number Come one, on. number two, number three. Shout that's, out to the women. Shelly Ann. They're a bit so so. Well, <laughs> However, <laughs> someone did ask why. Sprinter. Yeah. Someone did ask. Um, Jamaica's a good sprinters, man. Bruv, it's, I, it's not, bruv, I'm a big guy and I can bloody still run yeah, fast. fast so I don't, bro. it's not really much. It must be in the food or bruv, something. I <laughs> bruv, it's, I, it's all that hard. It's food. a thing, isn't it? I don't know what you want us to say, but I just wanted to shout out the ladies, especially Shelly Yan. Someone did ask, though, why are loads of Jamaican women named something Anne? And I thought it was funny because mum isn't named something Anne, but she does have Anne in her name. What a lovely. No, Anita. Anita. Yeah, Anne. Still there. It's still no, there. No, it's still there. It. It's still there. You're forcing it, man. Yeah. You're reaching it. You're reaching it, man. You're reaching it, man. No, but yeah. Yeah. No, but um, yeah, no, shout out to women, man. They're like, rather, st- those little things do make me be proud about Jamaica because for some reason, so small, it's just fucking you like know what everything, bro. though, yeah? Like, you see sometimes when you have nothing, mm. like whatever you, like, for growing up personally, mm. like I've always told, whatever you do, like make sure you give your all. Mm. Do you know what I mean? And someone that don't have nothing, they have a lot to prove to people. Yeah, and, and nothing to lose at the same time. Exactly, exactly, exa- exactly, man. Was it hard so. times? Hard times create tough people. Tough people create good times. Good times create weak people. Yeah, I can see how that works. Yeah, you get what I'm it's, saying. I can see it? how it works. I see with my kids. Yeah, I see with my kids. We will leave that for another <coughs> pod. So, um, because they've had a more luxurious life than you. Yeah, well, there's, easier. There's they certain things the, that they don't. They don't get, get it. So I'm always trying to remind them, like, yo, you don't know how fortunate you are, like, or how blessed your life is. Do yeah, you know what I mean, like, when I was growing up in Jamaica, bruv, I had one pair of shoes. Fam, but it lasted me throughout the whole. Bruv, week. and then if it rains. I had to take you off and walk on barefoot. And I had, you nice. see that conversation? So. I had a brief one with mum, your mum, and I was mm. saying that we grew up in the ends, innit? Obviously, potentially our kids may grow up not in the ends, innit? So then when they grow up, they're going to be like, rah, like, you lot used to live in like yeah, cars like, what totally what's that all about totally like, different. Mm. like you lot used yeah. to just have this cage why don't you have a cage for yourself and it's like bruv like this is the cage for the whole estate what are you talking about but they, as you said but then we go back to yard and we not me but us as our generation are kind of like raw like you know, just in this yard like yeah. how come you like ain't got aircon and internet <laughs> and like, tv even and so, yeah. even say stick a pin <laughs> back, you see back back grass yeah 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 on Saturday your birthday yeah I was telling someone like Rao the nostalgia when I was growing up this was our football pitch yep but obviously back grass got that big hole S- yep but at the end of the day if that's what you have you have to make Bro. the most of it mm. you know what I mean and that but was uh, literally our football pitch with the two benches was the goal in fam, the bush I said to <laughs> so, I said to um, Malachi and his girl I was saying to them and obviously I was waved but I was saying to them I was like you know when I was like in my early teens and that i used to just jump in the bush just because like <laughs> just because that was playing to us like exactly running <laughs> jumping in the bush right. like even me and ish we was like yeah we conquered that tree we climbed up that tree we used to run along Listen, flipping man, sunday we market could be Ooh. here all day growing up in jamaica we never had a football yeah so we had to make our football did you know like them box drink you get <laughs> yeah we used wow. to get obviously the cartons yeah, yeah. put it in <clears throat> cartons off the car and then shape it into a football yeah it's creative yeah. but that was that was that was that was the football do you know what i mean but that's and even when you're playing cricket yeah you'd get a stone an elastic band and wrap it wrap, wrap it wrap it wrap until it. you make like a like a ball in it but that's that's why you see when they say white people make better stuff yeah chatting shit <laughs> i swear to god they say black people are the inventors mm-hmm. yeah because we don't have anything so you we wouldn't just... have life if it weren't for black people no. Hey, a lot of things you hey have shout, shout, shout out to all of them people that's <laughs> going... I was going to say, I'll, I'll leave it on this. Yeah. Shout out to the people that's going up to the Congo and taking all the minerals the, and whatnot. Of all inventions? Is that what they say? Something like that? Necessity. Yeah. Is that... Necessity or simplicity? Or? 
No necessity. Necessity. Like, if you need something, need something then, then it. Yeah. Then you, you will have to create find it. A way to create it, isn't it? Like, mm. do you know what I mean? So yeah. Big facts. Big facts. Leaving on a young message still, but as I said, we're not going just just yet. I want to say thanks, Ricky, for hooking us up, and Jamal, if you're listening. Oh yeah, because you like, actually hooked us up. Yeah, because if you don't know, oh, the, to get together. Yeah, yeah the uh, universe had it that obviously Rick is my big bro, listen, and man. Jamal, who is Rick's brethren, is George's big bro. And no, if they didn't meet <laughs> or cross paths or weren't cool in secondary school, Stockholm Park, oh, where I went, everything happens for a reason. That's what I think, man. The butterfly mm. effect wouldn't for a reason, have man. us in this room right now. Yeah, um, everything happens for a reason. But I think when it happens, sometimes we have to embrace it. And yeah, was it, you surprised? When we first said that we were together, um, I wasn't surprised because um, obviously me and Cameron speak a lot. Do you know what I mean? Because obviously yeah. I knew Cameron liked you. <clears throat> yeah. But obviously you mentioned you date this white guy. Um, <laughs> obviously you told me the streets no nah, the man, streets man. want a body. You told me that obviously this white guy. The was streets just... want a body. Can I just do a disclaimer? Before I got with him, I said to Cameron, "Do you like me?" And he told me no. Yeah, but That's come a on, man. Come on. Uh, come I on, him. man. I told man, I didn't have the minerals them times, bro. I didn't yeah, have the minerals. Yeah, I, yeah, I didn't have yeah, the bottle. Yeah. Do you I know what's funny? Yeah, I mean, there was times, yeah, I, I speak to Cameron, innit? <clears throat> I was like, nah, like, even his dressing, I was like, bro, you need to get on this, like, little fitted jeans. And mm. he's like, nah, I didn't. Too <laughs> conscious, <laughs> too conscious. Like, There's the thighs. Yeah. The thighs yeah. are too thick, like, fam. You yeah. need to have a bit of, like, panache with options it. in your closet do you know what I mean you can't just yeah. be in a track suit one straight combat you know, combat you know, <laughs> yeah and these things. And obviously Shout you came and obviously combats. kind of gave him a little <laughs> no no George <laughs> gave me the battery he actually now, on now man he's no, like I'm just, I mean, yeah, but mm. nothing happens before time in life so nah yeah. time yeah. is very important maybe you with that guy yeah obviously you've obviously learned to say raw like then obviously he's come along and he's to be fair to him like he's he's a very good boy he's done a good job man I'm pretty proud of him man I appreciate that my bro love my previous life was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? You could have yeah. followed that. You could have <coughs> followed the follow that path. Do you yeah. know what I mean? The so thing is, path to follow. Yeah. What's, all, what's, what's already already like, understood again, doesn't need to be said. Yeah. Time, you know Cam's I mean? a great boy. So, I don't. I don't. Is. I don't. I'm not trying to um, put myself on a pedestal or nothing like that. Um, no, nah, but respect is due to season, man. Like, no. If you're like doing your bit, then like, look, he's not even blowing smoke up his ass. Do you know what I mean? I just remember one day. Rick came to me and was like, fam, any you... <laughs> that was off the bad time. Yeah, it, any yeah. you that follows you, like, if you lot us to break up and that, they're pissed. Yeah, and I was like... And I, I think know. that's the levels that you have to attain to now. I yeah. know. Do you know what I mean? Like, you have to but it's the your, same with George, have to, though. Of course, you have to yeah. set your standard high. Yeah. And it, it works both ways. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, because obviously you've set the bar high and let's... I try. I don't know if this guy's going to be a millionaire and take her to here and there. Mm. And even then, he's trying to win you love through financial gain. But in terms yeah. of genuine love and show you how you should be treated and stuff. Yeah. George can like, say many things. Because I she love Cam and he was broke. A, yeah. I'm still broke. I'm still broke. When Cam was Cost in Sainsbury's, I spent more than him. <laughs> Cost of living. <laughs> I made Cost more than him. But yeah. Well, he's... I, I had his ass like when he was broke <laughs> and he had Primark trousers. The, the, the yeah, old... but when I quit my job... I hold you, you down. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's, uh, that's the beauty of. See, relationship is a, it's a balancing thing. Do you know what I mean? Like sometimes you have good, you have Ooh, bad, but you just. Yeah. You know what's so great that you lot just talk about relationships and balance. So what I was going to talk about is how a husband buys a sex doll for when she's not in the mood. You guys seen that? Sex doll. Not in the mood. So. So when his wife isn't giving him. I'm gonna yeah. The doll. Yeah. Nah. Nah, bruv. You might as well go get my side thing if I have a side thing. I'm saying, I you don't want to, you don't want a Nani 3000? <laughs> Nani 3000? Huh? Nah. You believe that? You beat it. Yeah. Nah. That feels wrong to me, I don't want a Nani Nah, Nani but right, so she's not in the mood for what though? For beating. Like, yeah, she doesn't want to beat. So she, no, she's like, <laughs> no, like, no, 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 like. Guys always say that, you know, but you have to be in the mood. What, to do a blowjob? Yeah. Yeah, man. Because you, you'll get a better blowjob if the person's in the mood. Yeah, but I'm not saying I want a better one. Like you just last want time, one. I just <laughs> you just, you just settle. I said, I want yeah, that one. I, I don't want to, I I want want that one. one. <laughs> you know, bash the bishop, because after I'm going to feel like, what are you doing with your life? Yeah. You're, better, you're better than that. <laughs> Bruh, true. You know what I mean? Do you know what? Yeah. what but, I even so, but I even say so. <laughs> like, what if I'm not in the mood? Do I get fam? into like a... No, fam? guys can get in the mood. Fam? I mean, guys, guys, guys fam? just get in the This is a topic are? for guys, another day. We're not, we're not, we're not, we're not, we're not doing robots. it. We're not no, doing man. it today. We're this... not robots when you, press a, when you press a button. And no. This is a topic for another day. Because 
It could be eleven fifty nine, and the guys. Oh, you know what's crazy? Do you know what's crazy? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't even know. No, but do you know what's crazy? Yeah, yeah. Bed, you know, is it Joe? Working hard enough during the day. <laughs> so you see, like, <laughs> you see, like Jose Mourinho, Antonio Conte. Yeah, these are managers. These are managers that are notoriously like they will push you. They need you to be on point every time. If they want you to play, even if you got an injury, you play. That's what girls are like. Even if you got an Whoa. injury, you have to play that match. You yeah, don't have you, an option. And you lot no, are happy too. No, no. There are, are times too. that, believe it or not, we actually didn't really want to play that match. Really? Yeah, I actually man. wanted to play a virtual just FIFA. I just, really? I just wanted yeah. to play some music. But I think it's pressure though. That's a lie. I think sometimes it's but, pressure. That because man, but man's thinking, rah, but if I don't give a third leg today... No yeah. man, it's a lie. Man. Then who's she gonna cry on the shoulder of tomorrow? No, no, no. So which don't stick is she gonna it. lie? Which Do stick is she gonna it. lie on by Friday? No, don't oh, try. Fuck it. it. Might as well then just you play the match. That relationship, if you think no. that. No. Ultimately, oh, guys, <laughs> for women, it's more of a, a, an emotional thing. Guys can just get hard, do their thing, and just go. I'm not over there. I'm telling you. Do you not know what it is? I'll say it, and we've had this conversation off cam, off mic, out of studio. Man, them, including myself, we're just like, man, don't know when that next match is gonna be. You know be. what I think, yeah? I, I think don't when, know, and you, I, you I can't jeopardize when you, when it. When you get older, yeah, the body works differently, man. <laughs> <laughs> Swear to God. I said, I tried to I tell swear. you. You got me. You got me red head. Yeah, but Cameron thinks he's going to be 70 having sex regularly. No, I can understand that. Yeah, for men. Yeah, you women are just... Bro, wow. man, check out at no, 50 and I, all of a sudden it's, I'm, I'm saying, not on it no I more. I think when I'm 70, Come on, girls, I live man. to see 70, I hope I do. In touch with you, like, live to I'll see 100. Shape and everything. Shout out granddad like, with, the, with the 90 odd and that. You yeah. women, when you reach 70, it's a bit peak for you. Look, nah, before that. But that's because we've had to bear your flipping children. Nah, so we've got a bit of saggy got skin. We've got saggy nothing skin. Do because man still finds you attractive. Man still wants to At do 70, stuff with you. I don't think I'm finding you attractive. <laughs> not you personally. Fucking hell, yeah, Rick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but this is why I said earlier. That's a fucking state here, George. This is why girls get surgery. Oh. Because no, but you ain't got to get surgery for like they're no, old like, no. and they want to look younger and right, more attractive. Let, 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 shout let, shout let, out let, Patty Labelle. Right, let me let me not put myself in trouble. <laughs> she still looks good. Watch it. Let me not put myself in trouble. Yeah. Yeah. What I'm saying is, when you hit certain age, yeah, your dynamic changes, isn't it? Do you yeah. know what I mean? So obviously, in the younger days, you're like you're just a rabbit. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? When you get older and your older age, you just want to like just a cuddle and a kiss and. Do you know what I mean? when you get older, older, you're just happy for the companion. That's mm. there. Mm. Do you know what I mean? But in terms of me being attracted to you, <laughs> you don't think? I don't think it's. And this is my point proven, guys. So I'm happy because this is what I was saying no, earlier. You can't be getting a surgery when you're 50, 60. Like, no, you can get Botox to look younger, yeah. more attractive. You, you look like you're dead. No, no, you can get a good Botox. Yeah, but your face is just. A, no, you can get some filler. No, no, no. Look at what's his name, Mum. Sylvester Stallone. All right, that's going too far. Yeah, that's a different. That's That's going too far. That's a different ball. But if you can do it, I know you're wrong, but I'm not there. Like, but don't you think, like, give me a cuddle, like, (laughs) like, don't you think? Why do you think you won't be attracted to them? Is it just like a comfortability thing at that point? Do you know I what? Don't, I don't. I don't. I don't know. Maybe it's just. I'll say this because you're gonna look different. Hold on. Let me do a quick Google. You not, look. Not, keep talking. Not, not, I'm gonna do a quick though. Google or something. Ricky, at seventy, you're gonna look like an old man. Okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna look like an old. Like I look at my granddad, yeah, and I yeah. think my granddad for an old man. He looks. He can still go out there. He's got the talk. 100%. Like his mouth is so sweet. Like. So did you think your grandma and your granddad look different? Like, do you? F- do they look different. Yeah. Uh, like, do you think your granddad right, looked so at your when grandma? When I looked at them, yeah, yeah, I just thinking, cool. Like, grandma was nice and petite. Yeah, but if I was granddad, mm. I'm looking at grandma like, all right, nice companion, give me a kiss and a hug here and there. Yeah, but if I wanna, yeah, I'm find something a bit younger, innit? Do you know what I mean? Okay. Well, I don't know. Maybe it's the wrinkle <clears> thing <throat> I'm having. <laughs> problem processing you, you're gonna get wrinkles one day yeah I know but I but might have wrinkles Botox, but my wrinkles, wrinkles will look better than your wrinkle why what do you mean why why that's not necessarily true what do you mean not necessarily true no like, my gran grand gran uh, she has no wrinkles your titties is not gonna look the same 
my peck will look half decent. <laughs> but it will look I mean? a bit wrinkled if you... It might to look be, a yeah, bit wrinkled, but it will it still... Will. You can look at me and think, right, that body's actually... Yeah, but some like, older women... If I show a picture of my granddad's body, you're thinking, like, right, for a 90-year-old, like... Yeah. That can work. If I show a picture of a 90-year-old body, you'd be like... Bro, yeah, but you got to think about all the things <laughs> women have to go through. That come from Yeah, but I'm not babies. thinking of that when I'm 90. I just want a bone. Yeah, but... <laughs> just so a bone. You, you can't... You don't find... Okay. Oh. But your your attractiveness might change as you get older. You might not be looking for so that. Someone will be attracted to wrinkles. Well, she's going to have to be attracted to wrinkles. Look. Um, I think even, like, down to my grand, she's 70-something. Yeah. She hasn't even got a wrinkle. She's 70-something. Yeah. My mum is 50-something and she looks good for her age. Yeah. Yeah, but your family is old, like... I was middle, say, middle age, you know what well, I mean? I, I was, yeah, no, but I, I was also like... going to say, your family is a bit of an anomaly, probably an exception to the rule. Your family's got good genes, bad, nice, attractive so people over your, there. But so your mum's got... Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. We're, well. we're probably two exceptions to the rule that have managed to meet each other. because we're black, really, but... Yeah, that, that, yeah, too. that too. Um, <laughs> Before we go, because we're going to wrap up because we haven't got much time left, yeah? Larry King, yeah? Obviously, you may or may not know who he is. He's like a radio presenter and that. Hopefully, I can follow in some type of his footsteps and stuff. He's done, like, over 55 interviews and all this shit, yeah? He had, like, what, seven marriages? Um, seven marriages? Yeah, like, seven marriages. But mm, to his later years, his wives were, like, 30, 40 years or whatever, younger than him. Of course, that's what's happening. Naturally, and that's, that's what happens. I just want to end on the note that... This is why people get surgery. When no. you Look, yeah. look. remember, yeah. we are on the calm level, isn't it? Um, We're just normal people, day-to-day living our life, nine-to-fivers, whatever you want to call it. Even influencers and whatnot. But you see, when you got start to get that big million-dollar check in that year, that dating pool, it's a bit different. You can have yeah. certain options, like even, what's his name, Ice-T with Coco and that, he can kind of say, yeah, do you know what? I want a white girl with a big back and I want her to be 60 and she's still got a big back and that's what I want. And you can get it, but obviously he knows every maybe 10K every three months or whatever, he's got to top up that big back and just yeah. make sure it's still round. Up, Me personally, I've got other ideas of how I would manage it. For that price. <laughs> get a bike. And on that note, we're going to we're gonna ride away into the sunset. Uh, <laughs> it's like, get a bike for that price. Um, for what? Bruv, this is what people do to upkeep. You You have to, because you have to maintain it. Keep. Mm -hmm. Look, hey. Trade you in. Stick a pin. (laughs) Stick a pin. Stick a pin. Um, We're going to end up the the pod on that note. Um, Rick, what are you saying? For first time being in the studio, being on the pod and that, how you found it? That's good, man. Yeah? Um, You coming back? Definitely, man. When are you coming back? I speak to my agent and all right cool <laughs> i am the agent so i'll speak to myself um yeah man uh georgia thank you for being here as well it's been amazing no it's been a minute since you've been here as well uh, isn't yeah, it's it? been a while. i think the people have missed you still um shout out to gang but yeah man uh that's another one in the bag almost on episode 30 you know 30? yeah it's crazy <coughs> i know but yeah man look i like it man. i keep telling people about the podcast hopefully they're watching man because they're like watching you said like there's so much more than what people think that the end is about that's what yeah, I'm trying to push. This negative. So I'm trying to make people understand. It, but there's so much positivity. Like, of course. That comes from the ends. Like, of course. Even some of my friends that's gone on to do great things. Like, and I think it, it kind of sh- kind of shapes you. Do you know, you can either go, or you that can way. go. Depends on how you want your life to, to go. go. You know what I mean, <laughs> for real though. For real. Though. Sometimes some people get that little boost early, and sometimes it might take them a little, you know, a long longer route to, for them to figure it out, but. It does shape into a, a different man. It does, man. It does. So, yeah, we're going to end on that one still. Another one in the bag. Shout out to the gang. Shout out to Georgia. Shout out to Rick. Shout out to me. Myself. Big Cam. Done all the thing already. Bang.